Yo, ya da munyina ase. Na ya beda chief imam ase pa. Am se wa chire se odo emani pa nyina. Na ade oye na am fe. San se senkanya ono asunjue a nyamede adom no ene e Jesu a wo nyamede adom na ka de si ye no ke betime de o se ye no wa help ya ba nanso ya papa am pene so o se owusu be pa ye me ba enti no me pa asunjue ne nyina am fa asunjue enti na o man yi mu enti edikan be da ye nyina ya papa me me dia me papa eno no prekupe na eto so biem me san so so aka se enye na nko a e na ye ba ye papa ha ebresem ye be sheda ba ni asan ba besra papa enti fri ne ku ha ye fie nya mi hira mu nyina so so na nya mi hira mu damase no <laughs> So, Alaji Gado Mohammed, as the chairman of the ambassador board, will say a few words. First and foremost, on behalf of the national chief in we wish to thank all of you for showing so much interest in coming to witness this event. Again, I want to add this. Muslims and Christians are referred to as faith people. We all have faith in God. This is why they refer to us as faith people. So there is one thing that connects us, faith in God. Now, the peace that we've had in this country, we have not had any Muslim, Christian, upheavals like we have in many other countries. It's only because the two main faith groups are, are at peace with each other, Christians and Muslims. And we, I hope we should not take it for granted. We have worked for it. We have worked on the on, on the on behalf of the National Chief Imam. We've gone to conferences, we've gone to meetings with Christians, senior Christians. It's all aimed at bringing peace to God. So this must be taken note of. Now we thank Reverend Ousi Benka for coming all the way to the heart of Zongos in Ghana. This Fadama is the heart of all the Zongos. And despite what has happened, he has come right into the Zongos. And we thank him for doing that. All that in the name of peace. There's an unfortunate part of what happened. We all know that windows were broken, few things were done. A lot of people maybe do not understand why the youth went out there in their numbers to do what they did. And it's only because people don't take into consideration a fundamental issue in Islam. And that is the issue of 
prophecy and prophets. We Muslims believe that our prophet, Prophet Muhammad is the last prophet. That is a fundamental belief in Islam. So for us to hear that a prophet has predicted the death of our life is something that a lot of people may not understand. And those who may not understand, obviously, may come out to protest. Because in our religion, the last prophet and the only prophet was, but that is over now. Now, now we want to thank you for coming in order to prolong the peace that we will enjoy. And I think National Chief Imam deserves whatever thanks he gets for the prompt action that he took. But for him, standing out there, seeing him on, radio, on the TV, hearing him on the radio, telling them that it's all right, it's all right, take it easy. Perhaps we may not be sitting here today because only God knows how far that will go. But we thank Allah that by His grace, today we are here together. We hope this will be the beginning of more interaction between the two sides. We should be able, not only when there is a problem, we should, we should be able from time to time to interact with each other. If you have a problem within your circles, you can consult the National Chief Imam. The same thing applies to us. It will send me to you to also talk to you about what is happening. So once again, I don't want to prolong because there may be others who might want to also comment and, and say something. We, we thank you all for coming. Above all, we thank Reverend for making it possible for all of you to be here and to be here himself. We thank you. And I said, this should be the beginning of more interactions in the future. Thank you. Okay, so this is what's happening at Fadama. Um, it's a joint press conference between Reverend Usu Bempa and the Chief Imam Al Haji uh, Sheikh Nuhu Shalibutu there, and it's concerning the prophecy about um, the life of the chief imam which went wrong and you saw the uh, youth or some youth who say they they they, they were acting uh, for the chief imam who went to vandalize his property um that's the conversation that's ongoing right there well we're back here in the studio to continue um our conversation about namwan nanapia mensa about men's gold and about where the investment went one of the key areas of the investment the entertainment industry i started by telling you giving you a list of the people who were on the bill uh, on the on the xylophone uh, bill assignees we've, we've gone through the names and um i was just playing for you an interview that Beck, Beck, becky had with um uh, 